What's up guys, it is Doing the Guy here today. Yo boy is gonna be playing some Kai VR Mirage using this paddle I made. And as you see, it works perfectly with the game. The rotation works. Look, if you do it that way, it's wrong, but if you do it this way, it paddles. Uh, here's my controllers here. And I'll show how I made them too. But this is a cool little paddle I have. Now, I bet you're wondering what settings am I running? Your boy's running all cinematic and max and advanced graphics. I'm even running 1.2. And here's the sharpness. I might actually try increasing that sharpness and see if it improves the gameplay at all. Try increased sharpness today. Because I was wondering actually, like maybe, maybe the increased sharpness will be kind of good. There we go. Pretty high settings. And the reason I'm able to run this is because I have um, this VR mod that's supposed to greatly increase performance. You saw my settings. And the reason I'm running that is because I'm testing this performance mod. Let's go. Let's, uh, let's do some Costa Rica, man. Um, let's see. You know. what? I'll show you guys what I think about this game. It's performance. And... You know, we'll be testing out this paddle. Okay, loading into Costa Rica. Um, let's start with my thoughts on this. Well, the graph... Let's just pause for a sec. If you guys are wondering why there is, like, a lot of pixelation on the edges of the image, that is due to the foveated rendering of the v VR Performance Toolkit that is not on the default game. Fix are obviously impressive. There is a couple things I do not appreciate about them. The first thing is, even with 1.2x render resolution and a powerful PC, the distant objects look kind of blurry. And even with this powerful PC, the game gets a little jittery at times. Now I notice this map does it does this weird jitter. Ooh, look at Stingray. Does this weird jitter that a lot of the other maps don't do. But also, I've noticed this weird thing, I'm not sure what it is, but I've, I've checked, it's not DLSS or anything. But this, like, border around the kayak, I think it's created by the waves. It's really annoying, there's like a border that's created around the, around the kayak, and the, it doesn't look natural. I don't know if the monitor is going to pick it up, but there's this weird texture issue around the paddle, so that's a little annoying. But... In terms of graphics, the graphics are great in the game. In terms of immersiveness, it's pretty immersive. The only thing is, obviously, when you have the occasional jitter or stutter, that is a little bit of an immersion breaker. Now, I do like, and I actually love, that they added the fact that you can have a paddle in the game. Now, the way I have mine set up, you occasionally lose track, you know, like there, and that is a little annoying. But the fact that, you know, this doesn't really do anything sideways, if you put a horizontal, it moves the kayak is a really good touch and they really integrated the, the paddle pretty nicely into the game so now let's get on to my favorite map and we'll see kinda how the game performs there yeah still getting that weird effect but the water effects in this game I gotta say we'll talk about that a little bit they're pretty good notice how when I kick it forms a whirlpool. Look, I don't know if it's showing right now. I know that before at least it, it would form a little whirlpool. Having the paddle in there. So the water effects and physics are good. Like look, when I have it sideways, it doesn't do anything, but when I have it straight, it does. But I don't know if you guys can tell this is the waves, look, it goes with the waves. They create this weird effect on the graphics. And I know it's supposed to look more realistic, but this isn't in the water, so it shouldn't do that. Wow, turning up that sharpness, the distant visuals look crazy, this game looks really good now, I gotta say the graphics are pretty good looking, pretty pretty realistic and lifelike, here's my DIY paddle coming into play, put, put, come on, ram into the rock, ram into the rock, oh no, I don't want to get beached, oh yeah, also the beach physics are good, 
because if you get beached, um, you have to actually push yourself off, but it doesn't have infinite strength. It actually simulates if you're pushing yourself off, which is, I like that it's pretty realistic. Okay, so we're gonna turn around here. Yeah, the, the paddling physics are great. I, I do work out, so I like a good workout from a game, and this game, while it's nothing compared to weights, does actually get my shoulders and back really sore when I'm using this paddle, which I made this paddle just today, so I might not be a pro at it yet. But okay, come on, let's take him. Oh, dude, that's so. I was so immersed that I felt like I should just be able to grab the dude. Okay, let's take him off. Come on, get on the front. Don't be shy. There we go. Good, good, good. Okay, so now we push off and through Australia. I like this map. It's probably the most scenic. That's why I like it the most. And I just like the idea of going through a valley like this. Let's see how fast we can go with this paddle. Okay, we're going pretty fast. I feel like I can't go as fast with the paddle. I don't know. Tracking feels slower. So yeah, this game, with the sharpness increased, like you can see the nice details in the rocks. The game graphics are good. Like this floaty, like the little wrinkles in it, look pretty realistic. And the reflection, I have my dynamic shadows pretty high, so those look good. Ooh, everyone's favorite part of the map, the log. It's time to go under the log, baby. Alright, oh, is he gonna make it? Come on, buddy, you got this. No! Oh, come on. Come on, go. Push. Push under the log. He can, he can hit the log. But good luck, I always do. This is my probably fourth time going through here. Let's go. And having the uh, paddle really helps you work on your form because normally you would probably not have as good paddling form, but with this, you can't really just paddle like that. You have to really scoop into the water like you would in a real kayak. I've only been kayaking once, and it was with a cheap kayak, but I know this is the way to kayak, and it works a lot better in the game. This is a wooden, wooden real life. Graphics performance mod. It's called the VR Performance Toolkit. Amazing. This game, I would recommend it if you have a powerful PC. If you don't have one, then... I don't know if you would like this game because this game is literally all about the graphics. It's the whole point of the game. Anytime the paddle, the VR paddle, if you have one like mine, loses tracking, though there is a little immersion breaking. Come on, let's go, let's go. Speed, speed. Let's get this guy to the other side. Oh, we're, we're flying right now. My tracking's getting kind of bad when I'm going this fast. It's the only thing that sucks. One of the reasons is we're stuck here. Come on. Push up. Oh, just hit my TV stand. Come on, let's go. Let's get to the other side. Oh, come on. Little ducky. I got my ducky buddy here. Oh, my paddle keeps touching the edge. Yes, come on, push up. Yes, I got him. I got him over. Let's go land him in the land. Okay, now it's working pretty well. Oh no, he's upside down. Heck no, we want him flipped up. There we go. We made it, man. Let's, let's look at the beautiful scenery if we can turn this thing around. Ah, oh, would you look at that. All this now. I think we can buy some. My first thing in this game. Damn, look at that. We got a new kayak, baby. Look at that new kayak. Looks pretty nice. Got a nice comfy seat. I like it more than the space kayak. Now we gotta get the Aurora paddles. We got the complete set. Right, let's see how fast this thing can go. I doubt it's any faster than the stock kayak, but you know what I mean. How fast can we go with this with this paddle I built? Come on, let's go, let's 
go, let's go. Let's go. We're flying down the river. Man, the, the controls used to fall off, but when I put those little rubber bands, they no longer are gonna fall off. Right under the log. To have it for good luck. <sighs> it's a breathtaking game. Besides just little bugs. So, I think you guys should try this game out if you have a powerful PC. You can definitely try the performance mod. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I don't know what I was doing there. Bye.